back in the workshop today guys want to get the airbox delete kit fitted um, so we're gonna pull that off the shelf and uh, yeah get that dropped in um, I say it's literally just the battery tray and that rear plate uh, I think it's only four bolts plus the bolts that hold it together so should be relatively simple fairly quick and uh, yeah let's get that done so I've been over this in a previous video um, very quickly um, but it's simply a pair of pod filters replace the air box uh, we have the main plate that ends up as kind of almost a liner tray kind of extension of the mudguard stopping any of the rubbish going up the back of the motor um, and then obviously a battery tray uh, in the video before last uh, you saw me modifying bottom of the battery tray to get another fixing for the mudguard so we've got four fixings that hold the tray together um, the cable ties and various other bits crankcase breather and all the clips this box it also comes with an um, auxiliary air delete kit but the engine I've got has already got that fitted so spare set of those and also all the hardware so I'm going to get on I think I'm going to have to put this together in the bike because obviously I've put the old back wheel in and uh, not really thought of ahead of what I was doing so uh, yeah let's uh, switch over to time lapse get this apart and uh, get this done. see guys got the wheel back out um, shouldn't have put it in in the first place because I need it out to fit the liner tray um, but the conversion battery box from Ram Air is in it really is that simple so literally drop it in if you're not messing about with the rear mud guard and you're just putting it on a standard Barney Thruxton scrambler whatever it is literally you take the front cage battery box and you've got two fixings at the front here and two at the side drop that in and then you move your uh, fuse box from the right hand side over the left hand side so this piece of harness would normally wrap around the center part of the frame and then come back and mount up on the right hand side of the air box um, instead you just took it back through and then mount your so that fuse box underneath um, you've got two tangs here that the rubber of the starter solenoid goes on to. Um, still need to run the starter cable from here then down under to the front of the starter motor. Um, you'll have seen in that time lapse footage I've mounted the uh, ambient air temperature sensor which is normally in the airbox. There's a bracket for it here. You do need a longer bolt than the original factory one. It's an M8 by uh, M5 by 0.08 but you need a slightly longer bolt um, a, a 1 inch 20 mil so somewhere around there that'd do it um, it's, a, it's an open hole anyway so as long as you got something long enough it's fine um, and then the only other two things we've got is two relays down here and there's clips on the liner tray over here for those so I'm now just going to get this put in place so I literally just drop that in bolted to the back of the battery box up in there and then I can clip them relays in place and then we can final cable tie everything um, in terms of the harness I've 
cable tied it in place here. It's got two fir tree clips here, which run it underneath on the left hand side, and the rest runs. <laughs> it's hard to describe really, but up in there, so this portion comes up. Um, that's loose bolted in place, which is the map sensors. Um, the rest of the harness running forward but yeah it's coming together it really is um yeah let's get that uh liner tray put in place and yeah it's really that simple so as i said four fixings in the back to mount that to the battery tray you can see this is my lower down fixing for the mud guard and then there's four fixings m6 that mount the battery box within there you can see my button head fixing down there for the mud guard which will be clear of the battery the battery will sit about here then the ecu drops in so it should be all good there as i said earlier start a solenoid and the fuse box ambient air temperature sensor so all I've got to do now, within here, which might be a bit of a challenge one handed, but we'll do it. Probably can't really see it either, but um, I think the book says to do these before you drop the tray in, but I don't suppose it matters really. Um, sorry, the angle is absolutely awful. So you probably can't really see much if we get that shot back from that. So yeah, those relays are now in place. And as you can see, with the thrux and side panel in place, just nick that because it's harder to get to the bonnie ones. The wiring is, is well hidden. Obviously all this will be up here. This is for the throttle body here. Yes, yeah, so I'm very happy with the ram air airbox delete kit um, the only thing I would say is that the fixing they supply could do have been a little bit longer but it's stuff you can work around probably shouldn't have to at that sort of price but it's not the most expensive airbox delete kit on the market some of them are astronomical and you see it comes with the air injection delete kit as well I think it's uh, pretty good um, we'll see how long the filters last that I'm not too precious about. If they don't last for that long, I can stick some other pods on. The biggest thing for me was making sure that the battery tray was robust enough and fit the bike well, and it does. So that's all I can say about that. Um, I'm now going to try the mud guard in place. So stick around. So, right, guys, what we got here, there's two fixings at the back. I've got two fixings under here, which is also holding this harness bracket in place and then the third, uh, fifth fixing down in here. So I'm just gonna drop that out. So, what you guys haven't seen, I don't think, is the towel light that we're going with. Um, and it's purely for robustness and knowing that it's going to be reasonable quality. I, I, I'm denied about various different um, Chinese baits, copies, and that sort of thing. And I don't really want to be laying out on stuff that's either going to corrode or fall apart. Um, I do intend to take this off road, so I don't. I don't want to be replacing the towel light or bulbs every time I take the bike out. And um found a couple of units that I did like, um, hand-turned uh, quality bait copies and different things, like uh, this one. Um, but that is significantly out of the budget for this bike. Um, 
prepared. This is the other side of it, like taking it off road, you drop it or something happens, the, the cost is, is just going to be astronomical. I think that the FCR tail light is like 157 euros plus import and whatever else. So I did some browsing on the good old eBay and I managed to source this lovely genuine triumph unit for it was 15 pounds um and they, they seem to be going for 20 25 pounds over there about so if it goes down it gets cracked it gets damaged i can pick another one up um it's an led unit it's already 12 volt ready so i know it's going to be good it's bright it's euro compliant be fine for the mot and i think it's gonna look fairly neat um so I'm not gonna, I've got the template for it, I'm not gonna choose where. I know it's sizable, but it's not overly big. Um, but I think dropping that in with the towel, uh, the seat coming back to it, it's gonna look pretty smart. So that's what we're going with. Um, say drop in the comments below if you don't like it, if you do like it. Um, so it'll be this, and then we'll make a bracket for underneath to mount them. Uh, number plate below the mud guard. So uh, yeah, let me know what you think, guys, and uh, thanks for joining me. I know this was a relatively short one, but uh, it's where we're at. Oh, sorry. Before I do go, I was going to show you the uh, the setup. Oh, no. So yeah, you can see just within there, there are some step spacers for the mud guard, and then. We've got spaces up in there, as you can see there's the fire fixings and that last one we showed earlier is down in there. But yeah, quite pleased with that. But yeah. So thank you for joining me guys. Uh click like, subscribe, all the good stuff, as I keep saying. And uh you take it easy. <laughs>